What's going on guys, welcome again to another edition of Twisted Vapor. Hope you are all enjoying your day. So today we're looking at a very nice little RDA today, inspired by another fellow reviewer. We're looking at the new one from the Vaping Chronicles. This is the Drop Solo by Digiflavor and the Vaping Chronicles. So let's move on down into the box and we'll see what we get. Okay then guys, let's take a look then at the brand new Digiflavor Drop Solo designed by the Vaping Chronicles there. So as you can see, we do have a little window there revealing our RDA as well as all the branding there. So let's take a look around the actual box then. So at the top then you will find the social media links there. At the side we'll find digiflavor.com. At the bottom we'll find Digiflavor. And again, we have the website on the other side. And on the back then, we have the usual bits of information there, as well as our scratch and check. So let's open this little box up then. Just lift off the lid like so. And straight away, you're going to be presented with the drop solo there, as well as the spare plastic top cap and beauty ring but we'll get into that in a little bit more in a moment we just take this out so we can take off the actual felt pad like so you will then see your little digi flavor envelope and inside our little digi flavor envelope we will find the usual little digi flavor purchase information card we also have the little instructional card there as well and we also have our usual little warning card as well also inside your box then guys you're going to find the drop solo user manual and it's quite a chunky user manual for an rda although it is in a whole host of different languages it is nicely illustrated as well nicely included it so there you go, there's your, mate, there's your user manual. You're also going to find your little Allen screw there as well as your little three-way screwdriver. And you are going to get two coils. Now there is one already in the RDA, which we'll show you in a moment. But you do get two coils included as well. Very nice to include coils. Really nice to see included coils, so I like that. And also at the bottom, guys, you are going to get all your usual O-rings and gaskets as well as your 810 to 510 drip tip adapter. Now, you're also going to get your squonk pin inside this bag as well. It doesn't come already squonk ready. You do have to do that yourself, um, which I've already done that. So we've got our 510 pin in there for now. But your squonk pin will be located in this bag of spurs with all your o-rings and things like that so let's put all this back into the box then and what we'll do is we will take a look at the actual rda and its little plastic accessory now there has been a lot of problems with this plastic accessory um there's been a lot of people saying that they break really easily and to be honest they are actually right um, on the testing phase of using these, I did pull this. No, I didn't do nothing. All I did was pull it out of this foam pad and it cracked the beauty ring, as you can see here. We just take this off. There is a crack right along there now. And that's all I did was take it out of the actual packet. But it is still in one piece, so we will still use it and we'll show you what it looks like with it on. Um, so as you can see then we do have the fully adjustable airflow there as normal and we do also have the plastic barrel as you can say as you can see guys look I mean as I was saying it's really fragile it's very very fragile in fact um, not recommended to use I wouldn't say I, I wouldn't I wouldn't use it um, it's very very thin and fragile but let's have a little look at the actual RDA itself then to where I have really been enjoying using it like this so we'll start from the top then we do have a 810 goon style drip tip meaning we can get our custom drip tips and we can pop it in like so and it doesn't fall out or move or shake about doesn't it look nice like that it looks really really nice like that so we'll leave it like this 
Um, we also have our adjustable airflow. We just changed the top collar like this. You can see the letter T closing up and opening up as normal, just like the original drop. If you take off the actual top cap itself of the airflow ring, you can see it does still do the usual step up process for our airflow. Very, very nice. We also have a little bit of doming going on along the uh, top there. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But yeah, we also have a bit of doming here as well to help out with the actual flavour. Very, very nice. We also have that big, big letter T style airflow along the front here as well as along the back. And as you can see, we also have solo engraved inside of the barrel there and drop engraved on the side of the barrel there at the bottom of the barrel we do have these two little th fins if you will which does lock the barrel into place onto the actual deck which i really am a big fan of i don't like it when the uh, barrel spins around i do like it when the uh, barrel does lock onto the deck there i do like that so we also have these two nice fins we have one there and one there for the barrel to lock onto very very nice along the bottom then guys we have drop solo laser etched in the bottom of the dripper here we also have digi flavor as well there you can see our little squonk pin with its phillips head phillips head and uh, we also have all our usual little batch numbers and things like that down here and designed by vaping chronicles so Let's shove this on the uh, tab then. And what we'll do is we'll put on it. We'll have a little look inside at the actual deck. So as you can see then I have left my build in this. This is one of the coils that are that is provided, should I say, that are provided, that is provided. This is one of the coils that is provided in your little kit as you can see. It is a very simple deck system. We have two simple posts. We have our squonk pin located right at the bottom there. And we also have a, quite a nice little deep juice well. We also have two nice big chunky O-rings holding on that barrel as well. as the two little fins there to lock it all into place. So the barrel ain't going anywhere, which is very, very, very nice. Also helps with a little bit of over spillage as well if you do over squonk. So to build on this then couldn't really be simpler. If you are fortunate enough to use one of these fantastic tools it just makes life just that a little bit easier so what i did then guys is i just went around and measured my posts and as you can see for the perfect leg length you're looking around 4.5 to 5 millimeters now i went with the 4.5 as i wanted it to be quite high up i didn't want it to be low low down i wanted it to be quite a high up build so i went for a 4.5 which stuck my coil to roughly around here as you as you can see it stuck it about here and all i did was i put my coil and jig straight into it and just give it a little bend over to where it was directly above the squonk pin so roughly around about 4.5 five millimeters you are looking at a good one so as you can see then all we need to do then is just to basically put in our cotton what we'll do is we'll do that in a moment so what we'll do first is we will take out this little plastic crappy beauty ring thing and we'll have a little look see what it looks like with the uh, plastic one inserted what we'll do is we'll get the beauty ring as well and that's pretty much what it would look like if you went for the plastic option now i have seen people um put on facebook and on instagram of People not locking the resistances down when they're using it in TC and uh, they've basically melted this whole plastic thing. They've, they've just, it's just been melted and corroded away into nothing. So just be careful with that as well. Um, another reason why I wouldn't really use it to be honest with you. Uh, the airflow on this one though is slightly more restrictive as it isn't the full T. You've only got the six holes there and six holes then it's not the full T as you can see on the actual metal cap there. Probably best if you just went for the metal cap if I'm honest. If you're going to include something like this, I wouldn't have made it out of this proper cheap flimsy 
Making it dirty. Crappy, crappy plastic. So yeah, this is gonna be a challenge now, getting this off here without it snapping in half. So let's shove this on the tab then so we can take this off. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just chuck that back into its box and we just won't use that ever again. Um, and we'll give this thing a cottoning up. So, we'll get some cotton. Here's our Muji cotton. We'll get our scissors. And we'll just give this a little snip and I'll show you how easy it is to wick. So, we'll give this a little cut like this. Peel back our little skins there. We'll give it a little roll up. Throw one end in. Pull it through. Trim the ends there. And there. No need to go real, real short with this one because it is quite a nice deep juice well. So we can go a little bit longer on the cotton. I'm not even going to mess with it, I'm just going to literally pull it side to side a little bit just to fluff it out. I'm just going to shove it straight in, just like that. Because we are squonking with this anyway, so we are going to soak up a lot of juice. And, like that. and there you go, that simple. That's cottoned up and ready to go. Okay then guys, that was an up close and personal look then at the new Drop Solo by Digi Flavor and the Vaping Chronicles. So as you see, we've got this sat on the Pulse, the original Pulse. Um, we've got this all filled up with juice as well. We're using some of this. This is Sussex Vapors Cherry Lemonade, an absolutely amazing, amazing all day vape. I will leave links down in the description below as always, guys, of where you can go and pick this up for yourself as well as where you can get the 10% discount code as well to knock off 10% from your 120 ml bottles. So, link will be down in the description below. So, she's all ready to go and ready to vape. We have got the airflow wide open. Just double check there. Yeah, we have got the airflow wide open there. As you can see, the full T is completely open and clear. Let's give this thing a vape then, shall we? And then at the end, I will tell you where you can go and get this lovely thing for yourself as well as all our pros and our cons. So, let's give this thing a vape then, shall we? Yeah, the flavour on that is actually really quite nice. Uh, a bit airy though, there's a lot of airflow going through that, so it is making it quite an airy vape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down just a, a notch. I'm gonna turn it down and we're just gonna remove the top bar there. So now we've got the six holes that side and the six holes this side open and the top first four are now closed off so we took away the top section of the tea. Let's give that a vape and we'll see how that goes. Loads better, absolutely loads better. We just take away that top section of the tea it really does make it a hell of a lot better. The vape is still nice and cool, you're still getting a nice lot of airflow coming through, but as you see, it does intensify the flavor and it also thickens our cloud, which is very, very, very nice. I really do like that. Full throttle on the flavor there as well. Really, really, really nice, smooth, clean vape. Very, very nice. So let's move on to our pros and our cons then. And as I said at the end, I'll tell you we can go and get this lovely thing for yourself. So let's do our pros. The first pro then is the fact that it is a rebuildable deck, um, which means I can put in my own coils. So as you already know, guys, I'm a big fan of my rebuilds, which making this the first pro of the day. The second pro I have for it is the fact that we do have a removable 810 drip tip, meaning we can put in our own. As you see here, I do have the little red number there matching the red pulse. Very, very nice. So the fact that I can put in my own custom drip tips is another massive pro to me, so that is another big pro there. The next pro then, guys, is that airflow. The airflow on this is phenomenal. You are getting a hell of a lot of air coming through, whacking that coil from all angles, from underneath, from the side, from above. 
you are getting that whole coil saturated in air. It's absolutely fantastic. Although I would say if you're not a massive fan of the ultimate early draw, just turn that top section off, as I said, and it does increase that flavor and it does increase that vapor production as well, making that just a little bit better. So yeah, just knock off the top there and it will be absolutely brilliant. So the airflow on that is also a massive, massive pro. It brings us to our next little pro then, which is that build deck. It's absolutely simple. As I said in the up close, if you are lucky enough to own one of them lovely little fantastic coily tools, then you are looking roughly around about 4.5 mil to around about five millimeters for that ideal build. Very, very, very simple. Just trim it from underneath, pop it in, screw it down, and away you go. Just bend it over a little bit towards the airflow, and away you are. The next pro that I have is the fact that the barrel does not move, thanks to them lovely little fins that we have at the base of the actual deck there. It stops the barrel from moving, which is brilliant for when you are adjusting your airflow. You know, it's always nice to see the RDA's lock. I like it when the RDA's lock into place. So when you are changing your airflow, you aren't moving the whole deck or the whole barrel or even unscrewing the whole thing off the mod itself. So very, very nice that they have got them little locking fins as well. The next little pro I have for it, guys, is it is actually quite a pretty looking RDA, as long as you leave it in the stainless steel or in your normal configuration and don't put that plastic thing on, which we'll move on to in a moment. It is actually a really sexy little looking RDA. So that is another nice little pro there. And then our final pro for this then guys is the fact that it does come with a set of coils and a load of little bits and bobs for you inside the box. So yeah, there is all our pros. Let's take another vape and then we'll move on to our cons. And as I said at the end, I will let you know where you can go and get this lovely thing for yourself today. Another vape. Really, really nice. So the cons then, there is only really one major con then guys, and that is the elephant in the room, which is this horrible, horrible cheap ass plastic edition that we included inside our box. Now it doesn't take a genius to go looking around on Google and go looking around on Facebook and Instagram. You may have already seen a lot of people complaining about this little plastic piece saying that it either melts under high heat, if you are using it under a high wattage, it does melt, or, it just breaks before you even have a chance to use it. Now, as I said in the up close, all I did was remove it out of the box for testing, and I'd already cracked my beauty ring just by removing it out of the box. So it is extremely, extremely fragile. Um, so they have cheaped out a little bit there on the actual plastic that they used to build this, which to me is a massive con. I mean, if you're going to include an extra barrel piece, at least make it out of metal, or at the very least, make it out of a stronger plastic, like an epoxy resin maybe, or maybe an acrylic, something like that. I wouldn't have made it out of this cheap ass plastic that they have made it out of. I mean, guys, let me just, wait. Oh, there you go, it's just broke even more. It's, look, it's just cheap, cheap, nasty plastic, which is just terrible. It just breaks and fractures. It's absolutely terrible, guys. It's proper, proper cheap. It's thin, it's brittle, it, it's nasty. It's just, no, just nasty. So yeah, biggest con of the whole kit there then is that plastic extra barrel that you are included. That, well, that is included in your package, unfortunately. So yeah, it's nothing that I would use. So that is the major, major, major con there. Other than that, guys, the actual RDA itself is fantastic, especially if you use it in the metal barrel and things like that. If you leave it the way it is, it's absolutely fantastic. Like I said, just reduce that airflow down a little bit, position your coils perfectly, and then you are vaping very, very nicely. Really, really, really nice. Now another little, slight little con as well. If you do over squonk, you will get it pissing out the bottom of the little T there. But I suppose if you don't over squonk and you're not, you know, you do watch what you're doing, that won't even be a problem. 
But other than that, guys, that's it. That, that, that is absolutely it. It's fantastic. The pros outweigh the cons on this, as always. Very, very nice. Very impressed by it. Apart from that little horrible plastic thing that's included, I am really, really impressed by this RDA. Very nice flavour. Very nice big production. Very easy depth to build upon. Changeable drip tips as well. Absolutely love it guys, fantastic. So where can you go and get one of these for yourself then? Well you can head over to www.srvape.co.uk where they do currently have them all in stock. You have several colour options available, you have silver, you have gold and you have black. The silver will start off then at $23.99 and the other colours will cost you $24.99. So yeah, if you want one for yourself, then guys, pop over to SR Vapes and they will hook you clean up. Nice. So head over there, guys, and go get yourselves one today. If you want some of this, and I will leave links down in the description below as well, where you can go and get this for yourself. Head over to Sussex Vapor and get yourself some absolutely scrumptious juice as always, guys. I think that about wraps it up for this review. Thanks for watching. It's always a massive bonus when all you guys watch and like my videos and it's a massive massive bonus when you all subscribe big thank you to all you lot at home who already have subscribed to the channel and already give us a thumbs up for our previous videos it really does mean an absolute lot if you have any suggestions on what to review or any way i can change the channel or upgrade the channel then please leave your comments down in the description box below i will look forward to reading them all and i will try and get back to every single person who comments so I think that about wraps it up completely now then guys, so until the next video, I'll see you again.